Yeah. I'm joined now by Dio Miko after the 1 1 draw with Bowman and St. Michael's. Dio, what did you make of that game? Um, I think we started off quite well, to be honest. I think first 10 15 minutes we did all right. Um, I think we were attacking them quite well, but then I think St. Bowden may just built into the game, to be honest. And, um, got the rewards I suppose with the goal so it was backs against the walls really after they scored and they was the more confident team going into half time. Um, second half, um, Gaffer changed things, um, I think that helped us, um, just think we just couldn't score towards the end but then um, I came on and helped out. It seemed going after the half time break, it seemed there was a lot more intensity and higher pressing, was that what Lee had asked for then at half time? Um, I believe so. I mean, I went in the change rooms at half time, but the lads came out and you could definitely see, see a change in how we were playing. Um, it was more on the front foot, um, attacking more and putting more pressure on St. Baldemir. And I think it paid off in the end. Um, I think but St. Baldemir started to back away and um, that created, we got chances from that. Um, but it was just unfortunate that we couldn't, couldn't really get the breakthrough a bit earlier. So, yeah, um, I think he's made some good tactical changes. Yeah. And you've come on as a defender, he's put you up front, it's a bit different to what you're used to when you're coming on the pitch. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely a bit different. Um, yeah, some, I've done it in the past when I was a lot younger, so a lot quicker. Now, um, nah, I suppose I was just focused on doing the basics, trying to hold it up. I suppose I did too well with that and just trying to get on the end of anything. Um, and towards the end, as you've seen, Rico put in a great cross. Um, didn't have to do much rather than apart from guiding it in, really. So he didn't look like a centre half, so he definitely looked more like a centre forward finish from where I was. Sat. Um, you could say that, but yeah, I suppose my experience in defence, getting my head on the ball, um, I just knew that I just need to get over the keeper, across across him, and hopefully it should nestle in the back of the net. So yeah, I was fortunate to do that. It was your debut as well. More, how would you sum that up for yourself as a personal level? Yeah, it was good. I mean. Obviously, I got to see the lads um, play on Tuesday. Um, that was a good opener to see see how we play. Um, we did, we had a bit of a team bonding on Thursday, so I didn't really get to see the lads train or anything. So, yeah, it was good to actually be on the bench today and just just see how we play a bit more in that and see how we play away from home. So, I learned a, new, a few things from that and got my chance. And yeah, just happy to help out the lads. The lads have put themselves in a great position, top of the league. So. I just want to help contribute and I'm glad I was able to do that today. We've got a week off before a big game against Worcester City at the New Manor Ground. Would you have rather had the Worcester City game maybe next weekend without the break or is the break good to get in training, work on some things and then make sure you are prepared for that one? I would have liked to play it next week to be honest. I think just continuing with, with games and that rather than it stop start. I know it's always good to, to do things in training and I'm pretty sure we'll have a few hard sessions next week. Um, we, I suppose I could pick up a few things on how we want to play, but it would have been great to go into that next game on the back of this. Um, I think picking up that point was was great for us, and I think that will give us confidence going into the next game. Cheers, Dion, and congratulations on your goal. Thank you.